Today, Kevin and I are gonna be trying some items from Angelic Bakehouse. We have the Seven Sprouted Whole Grains Dinner Rolls. And these are the hamburger buns. These were sent to us from Michael, so thank you very, very much, Michael. The hamburger buns were $5.59 and the rolls were $4.99. We have actually heated the rolls and so we're gonna be trying those first. I fear we try them soon and you can talk about them after we talk. Because they're nice and warm. All right. You want to try them without bottles first? Yeah. I love a good dinner roll, by the way. Yes. Nine servings are in the container. Nine rolls. One roll, 43 grams, is 120 calories, which is typical. It says heat it, stack it, dip it. Those suffer from the same thing most of this kind of bread does. You want to share? Did, did you put butter all over it? Uh -huh. It's all in there. Oh. Um, it's very chunky. Mm. If you like a whole grain roll, the flavor is really good. Mm -hmm. But there's like hunks of like seeds and shells and you know, right hulls and whatever they stuck in there for the grains that I don't personally like. We've reviewed a bunch of items from Angelic Bakehouse. And so if, if you haven't watched those reviews, please watch those. But that has been a theme throughout these reviews. Especially for me. Is that Kevin <laughs> has not liked the texture and I don't mind it at all. Yeah, I love Same the flavors. Overall, I don't mind it at all. The this, flavors are really good. It's a really mm -hmm. good uh, wheat flavor, mm -hmm. wheaty flavor. You just don't like the the. I don't the like texture. the chunky texture of the, of the bread itself. This would be good with... Uh, ham and some mustard or uh, cheese. You could put all kinds of yep. things. You don't have to look at these as like just dinner rolls. You can, they're- like little uh, slider buns. Yeah, they're, exactly. They're the perfect size to make mini sandwiches. Mm -hmm. So I like those. Yeah, but if you have people that like me that don't like that- That texture. That chunky seedy texture. Then you then should know that. I'm glad, that, you know, I'm glad he's making you aware of that. Now these, these are, are hamburger buns. And we, when That's we good. talked about when we first got the hamburger buns, should we put ham or turkey on the hamburger bun? Should we put a hamburger on the hamburger bun? Ultimately, we decided that we're going to try it plain. And that's because we want to taste the flavor of the bun itself. If we added hamburger to it, ham, cheese, turkey, whatever, that is going to give it a different flavor completely. And so, is there anything? It was not split, so. Oh, it was, you had to cut it yourself? Mm -hmm. Is that what you did? Mm -hmm. 150 calories for one. Mm -hmm. Well, first of all, I would say they need to, They. I wish they would cut them in half. Yeah. If they... it's called a hamburger bun, it should be cut in half. No. It's just a it's just a flatter the flatter bun basically. Yeah, they I would want them I, I that's something that when you go to somebody's house for a cookout or you're having a cookout yourself, you want to be able to grab a bun out of the package and, and not, not have to worry about cutting yeah. it. Um and maybe more expensive brands are like this, but um the any I've never bought buns that I had to cut myself mm -hmm. ever. I don't care for the flavor of that one. Um, I don't know if it's that, I don't know. There's something different about that one. For me, it's okay. This has a stronger flavor than the rolls. Yeah, it, it's just not that. There's something in it that uh, It's probably stronger. the exact same thing. If you look at the ingredients, it's probably the exact same thing, but I the, promise whatever you, mixture ratio is probably different. Yeah, there's something that it, um, Something tastes stronger in this. Yeah, I agree because it doesn't. Like I said, the rolls kind of had a just that whole weedy kind of flavor, mm -hmm. whereas the no, buns different. themselves have a, a stronger grainy texture. Yeah, there's yeah, something I don't flavor. I don't mm -hmm. know. There's something in there. I agree. I don't like as much. And also, um, I would not get these buns uh, for me because I think they're kind of hard. They are very hard. They're hard and they're kind of tough. 
They're very. Um, you put your hammer on, and the hammer goes. Uh, back. Yeah, they're <laughs> very, they're very dense. Yeah. Um, so for me. The yeah, dinner I, rolls were good, but I would not buy those hamburger yeah. buns again. And you know my opinion, the flavor's good in the, bun, the dinner rolls, but the texture just gets to me. Right. So Michael, thank you very much for letting us, uh, giving us the opportunity to try this brand. Uh, their website, if you want to check them out, is angelicbakehouse.com. So thanks for watching.